Hello, good afternoon, good morning. Gal Thompson here from Secured Signing. And thank you for joining me today for this webinar discussing the SharePoint Online integration with Secured Signing. I hope you can all hear and see me okay. Um, the Today's webinar, I'm going to um, check the screen is working. Move on to the next slide. Here we go. So what I'm going to talk about for the next 30 minutes is a little bit about who Secured Signing is, if you haven't um, heard about us before. I'm also going to briefly cover the difference between electronic and digital signatures because that's something that we often are discussing with potential customers and I think it's important to understand. I will then focus on the benefits of having digital signatures integrated within SharePoint Online. I will try and spend most of my time on the demonstration because I know that's what's most of interest to everybody. And then we will have a Q&A time at the end. I do encourage you, however, to put in your questions in the question, question section. And I will, as we go, I can see those. Um, and I will, however, address them all at the end. So I will try and leave as much time for questions. Um, but yeah, please feel free to put those in the Q&A box. All right, let's get started. So a little bit about us, if you, this is the first time you're joining one of our webinars. Um, so Secured Signing is a world leading digital signature platforms. We allow users to fill in and sign documents digitally. We've been doing this for over 13 years. We first launched our uh, platform in 2010. And today we have customers in over 45 countries across the world with um, offices in Australia, New Zealand, the UK and the US. We, and I'm talking to you from New Zealand, by the way, which is our head office. The unique signing technology that our platform utilizes is known as public key infrastructure um, or PKI digital signatures, which is, in the way I like to explain it, the gold standard for signing documents online. And in the next slide, I will delve into a bit more as to why it is considered the gold standard and the most legally binding way of signing documents. The main industries that we work with are industries where there is a certain amount, amount of compliance, regulation, uh, the need to show who and when uh, took some actions like signing a document so you have evidence for the future should you need it. And the industries that tend to be in that category are the likes of government agencies, recruitment or staffing agencies, HR, um, financial institution, legal firms and the notary industry and particularly in North America. Uh, we do have a separate um, RON, which is a remote online notarization platform for the notary use case. However, today I'm only using or focusing on the digital signature use case. So if you are a notary that has joined us today, there's still plenty of um, situations where you will need a digital signature, but just clarifying that that is what I'll be speaking about in today's webinar. So starting off, as I mentioned, around the different types of digital signatures or online signatures, some people, or I think in, in the past, people thought that you know an electronic signature or a digital signature were just different words for the same thing, but they are not. So an electronic signature is the more basic type of signing technology when it comes to signing documents online. What it is, it's an image of a signature that the person is creating at the moment of signing, but this is just an image or a picture that is then added to any document. What it means is that that image can be copy and pasted by anyone that has access to that document and can be used anywhere else, so it's not very secure. It also means that the document is not locked with an electronic signature, so if people were to make changes to the document after it was signed, there is nothing in the 
signature, electronic signature that will tell you this document has been changed. There is just no relationship between the image of the signature and the content of the signature. So, you know, there are instances with, I'd say, low value transactions or um, where that is okay. However, as I mentioned, a lot of our customers don't fit in that space and they're looking for something really robust to show and to be able to meet their compliance requirement of their industry. And that's why they're choosing digital signatures and in particular our user-based PKI digital signature, which means that every um, signer has a unique signature for that document as well. So it is based on cryptographic technology, which gives greater document security. And what I mean by that is that um, each signature creates essentially a unique fingerprint um, that is then linked to the document itself. You're not able to copy and paste the signature image. And also it includes additional information like the timestamp and reason for um, signing as well, as well as the job title. But in short, because we use digital signature technology um, that seals the document with the very first signature, it means that in the future, if you want to validate whether a document has been changed or not, um, you can do that in any PDF reader. You don't actually need us, the signing platform, to validate whether a document has been changed or not. It is part of the signed document. And it means that we don't keep a copy of your document for long-term storage, which again, our customers really care about that. You don't want other platform, third-party platforms to have copies of your document. If you're using electronic signatures or non-user-based PKI digital signatures, um, there's a different standard, then they do keep a copy of your document. Um, we delete a copy of your document seven days after it was signed. However, we can do that even sooner for some of our healthcare customers, for instance. It is within 24 hours. Um, so yeah, hopefully you've learned something new. If not, um, thank you for being patient with that. Um, this is just a quick visual aid around what is the difference or which one is the digital signatures. So if you guessed that the bottom is a digital signature, you are correct. This is an electronic signature. As you can see, it's just an image which you can copy and paste, whereas this is a digital signature where you can validate the signature and you can also see additional signature properties there. Thank you. All right, moving on to the focus of today's session, which is all about SharePoint and integrating digital signatures with it. So this slide just sort of highlights some of the reasons organizations choose to integrate digital signatures with SharePoint. So it's around um, your internal staff being more efficient and being able to um, send out documents for signing either internally or externally for um, sign off. The cost benefit of not requiring as much paper um, courier, et cetera, with the more traditional ways that organizations are doing things now around, you know, printing, signing, scanning, uploading back, et cetera, or even couriering those documents around. So there's some cost savings there. Um, yeah, which is great. On the operational efficiency as well as, you know, there is automatic reminders that are built into the platform. And you can also see how people are getting on. So it's not like when you send an email and you're sort of a bit in the dark, you don't know if they've read it, you don't know if they've opened it, all of that. But when you're using a digital signature platform, you've got that visibility on what is actually happening. It's a better experience for your customers because again, instead of them, even though you email them something, they, they then have to figure out how to sign it. So you're actually giving them the solution um, all in one, which is really easy. And it's you know important to stand out today with a digital experience. And the other two is around security and compliance. You have audit log, completion certificates, information of everything that's happened and taken place. And of course, with so many of us today working remotely, this has become a critical or mission critical tool for many of our customers because their staff 
work from home either permanently or a few days a week and it's not delaying business processes because they don't have access to a printer or to other tools that they need to get sign-offs um, completed okay so just briefly some of those use cases hopefully you've got a couple of ideas going on in your head already of how you could be using digital signatures and online forms in your organization but um, you know all contracts around purchasing of good and agreements, HR, so the hiring, um, also policy changes. We, we help a lot with our customers around changes of policies and getting those uh, approved again. Legal documentation, NDA process, procurement documents, financial documents, whether it's from a management perspective or invoice sign off. Um, and of course, also all the internal approvals that sit outside of that or the customer's interactions um, depending whether you who your customers are uh, constituents I can never say that word um, or other customers that are requiring you know to sign off on a sale or something that they're going to go um, ahead with your organization so what are the advantages of our integration with SharePoint so the key idea is that your team are doing everything from within SharePoint. They do not need to log in to secured signing platform directly. They can do everything that they need to from within the SharePoint platform, which I will demonstrate. We've brought into that the template functionality, so you can create templates for documents that are used over and over again. You can monitor the signing process with uh, the in-progress dashboard that's available in SharePoint. You can add additional form fields for information to be captured or data or to be uploaded. The signers or invitees can, of course, sign on any mobile device um, on the go, which is much uh, improved for turnaround time. And I think the most important thing for a lot of our customers with the integration is that the signed documents are automatically saved back into SharePoint um, into the folder from where you've sent it from. So it just if you send it from a certain folder, it comes back to that folder. Um, so yes, those sort of like the high level benefits of the integration. And I'm now gonna spend the rest of the time showing you what it looks like. So let's get into it. All right, can you see my screen? Excellent. Okay, so this is um, a test site for me. So um, I'm going to go to the documents section, which I'm in here, and I'm in the test folder. Where you can find secured signing is up here in the ribbon. And when you click down on it, you can see the different options. So we have the ability to send a document for signature. This is a one off document you can get the status of a document that's pending. You can make changes or manage the signing process for a document that's already been sent out. You can create new templates, send existing templates, and also form direct as our customized forms that some of our customers use. So to get started, I'm gonna select a document, and in this case, it's my demo NDA document. I may have worked on this document already. I've made the changes that I need to it to make to it, and I'm now ready to send it out for signing. So it's important to think, you know, you, you're going to uh, work on the document until it's ready for execution. So when you're ready, you select the document and then you go back to here and click send for signature. I'm going to show you first the we sign process, which is for um, inviting others to sign. But I also want to touch on that, you know, if it's a document that just you need to sign, you can then do an I sign, just add your signature, which is really common too. But if you need to invite others, you would select we sign and um, smart tag is around how you can even further um, automate the signing process. But I won't have um, I won't go through that today. So I'm going to click on we sign. And there are a couple of steps here that I want to show around preparing the document for signing. So you can navigate the pages over here 
or over here. So I'm going to go to page three. I can also make it a little bit bigger for the demonstration. So the first thing I would find is who I want to invite by clicking add invitees. We have two types of invitees, signers or viewers. So if you have workflow where it needs to be reviewed internally by a few other departments before it can be signed or it needs to be viewed in between different signers, so you could really build that out using our platform. I'm going to focus on the signing experience. So I'm going to click um, add invitee and I'm in inviting Greg to sign. To add an invitee, you simply need their first name, last name and email address. So I've now got this signature box, which I'm going to position in the right place. I can make it bigger or smaller. And I can also choose whether it's a full or an initial signature, the date and the name. And over here, I also can include job title and the reason for signing if I want to capture that information. And it all becomes embedded within this signature box that is then sealed the document and protects it from being um, altered or gives you a detectable way if it does get altered. I'm going to just keep it to one signer for now. Um, if I did want to add some on the fly uh, form fields, I can create those. Um, I can create text boxes, large text boxes, um, radio buttons and things like that. I'll touch a little bit more on that when we talk about the template functionality. So once I've prepared the who needs to sign and where, I'm going to hit next. And it's taking me to the final invitation workflow step. In here, I'm just going to cover the basic workflows. There's so much more we can do, but we don't have time to go through all of it today. So the key functionality of every workflow is the due date. When is this document required to be signed? So you will select a default, which it will, in this case, it's seven days from today but you can manually override that as well. The due date is important because it will decide how many automatic reminders your signers will receive um, and saving you time having to do that follow up. If you had a multiple signing, um, multiple signers in a process, then you can select the signing order and you can choose who goes first, second and so on. Then at the signers level, you can select an email invitation template, um, or you can, um, which you can make here, or you can write a personal message, or you can do nothing and they will just receive an email with the standard instructions, which I will show. Um, the final thing I want to touch on is just around the authentication of each signer. So I'm going to demonstrate the most basic one, which is email passcode. However, there's some additional level of how you authenticate. So you can create a password, SMS, ID verification, um, and we also have video confirmation, which isn't enabled. So it's your choice. What is the level of signer authentication that you want to include? I'm going to hit send. And this is on its way. And now my hands are up and it's taking me back to the SharePoint folder from where I came from. So I sent, I went to secured signing, I did what I needed, and now that the document has been sent, it automatically takes me back to the folder within SharePoint where I was. Um, I just want to show you before I show you the signing experience what the document status can do. So if I click on get document status, I can see all the pending documents or in progress, and here they are. Um, for me, so this is what I've done today, and I can see the status, zero of one signed, but I can also take some actions, so I can make changes to the signing process um, by clicking, for instance, on this eye icon, I can extend the due date, or I can, in fact, change the signer if there's, I've been advised that somebody else needs to sign, and I can also send a manual reminder. So you can make changes to the signing process whilst it has already been initiated. And just to go back to SharePoint, it's as simple as that. All right, let's get some signing done. So I've got my invitation to sign, Greg's invitation. Um, the logo here will be the organization logo. And with a thing called domain authentication, we can actually personalize that the email invite comes from your personal email. So that's very good. 
um, the signer will click on the button and insert this code to complete this to access the document 9824 as i mentioned that's the most minimum level um, and we can authenticate with some more options as well accept the terms of use here is the document and i can either scroll through or take me straight to the signing box i click on this and now i have to capture my signature so i can use either a font a mouse upload an image or push it to my uh, mobile phone. With um, government agencies, we find the upload options very popular because a lot of um, government organizations already have an image of a signature that they're utilizing outside a signing platform. So this is a more robust way of um, signing and getting approvals done, but still using that image of a signature that you're perhaps more attached to versus one of these fonts. Click sign and the document is complete. So what happens on completion? Close that and go back to here. I'm going to refresh my SharePoint site and I'm just going to filter by the newest. So we can see that this is this demo NDA that was modified a few minutes ago, seconds ago. And if I open it here, it is the signed document. So it's come back to the folder from which we sent it to. And the other thing that happens as well is that um, we have a signing completion notification. So that is sent to both the sender and the signers. And that includes the sign document, the audit log and the certificate, completion certificate. So just to show you, that this is in a PDF reader. I've got a nice green tick that um, the signatures are valid and they haven't been changed. And if you want to um, expand a little bit more here, you can see the um, every signature box will be listed here and you have the details of each signer. So we've got Greg Smith and Greg's email address. You could see even further information as well. And you can also um, click on that to get the signature properties. So this is the unique part of the PKI digital signatures. If this was an electronic signature or a system digital signature, it would just say signed by platform name, not the details of the signer. And that digital um, invisible certificate is used by every single document and that uses a certain platform. So this is where with secured signing, every signature is unique to the document and the signer. And many of the regulations actually require that you have that and you show it. And PKI Digital Signature is, what I mentioned earlier, the gold standard for doing that. Um, so yes, so that is a very um, high level overview. I wanna just show you before we finish up, the template functionality as well. So we can click back here into secured signing and I'm gonna click on templates. I don't wanna create a new template. I wanna choose one that I already have. Um, so I'll have a list of templates that have been created um, by administrator or for me. And you simply select the template and hit send. And you just need to put, out, put in the signer's name. This is, um, I want to actually show you the template is a new supplier registration form. So this is um, what I've created. So I've added these fields in here um, and I didn't do the whole page and you could also have a signature placeholder. So if I preview that, this is what the signing experience would look like. What is in red? is mandatory so it has to be filled in what isn't it's not um, and you could also do conditional logic so if you select yes or no or answered certain questions in a certain way the form is dynamic and you can change what is required next we also support formula fields um, also calculations and file uploads as well so it's quite a lot you can do with the template functionality as well. All right, I think I'm gonna jump into questions now. If, 
because that's a lot to take in as it is. So just wondering if um, I can see there's a few questions already there. Just give you a couple of seconds to pot, pop in your questions if you have it. So the first question is, can we customise the naming convention of the return signed document? So at the moment, because it's actually delivered from our system, um, it is not being able to customise, but you can customise um, the branding and other elements with an email completion, a email completion template, so the body, but the who it's come from has to be um, from our system to show that it hasn't been intervened in the meantime. So um, that's the answer there. I'm just scrolling through. Um, so we've got a question, how much does the SharePoint integration cost? So um, it's a good question. I sort of um, expected that would be asked. So the SharePoint integration itself does not have any additional charges. So it is available for free for all of our customers that have a secured signing subscription. So the secured signing subscription itself is made up of two factors, the number of users that require to send document for signing and the volume of documents that you're getting signed or sent for, sorry, the volume of documents you're sending out for signing and um, combination of those two factors <coughs> will make up your subscription plan. Um, but the SharePoint integration component is a free add-on. If you do wanna add the SharePoint um, to your account, you need to come to the Microsoft App Source um, and connect find search secured signing for SharePoint and you will get our listing and you can then click get it now to um, to get that. Um, we also have, just because we're talking about Microsoft, uh, we also have a Word Outlook and a Dynamics, Microsoft Dynamics integration too, if you're using all of those and they're also included with for free with any secured signing subscription. <coughs> I've got another question here. Um, any member of the public can use or sign these documents. They don't need to download anything. That is correct. They don't need to download anything. It is a web-based uh, application, which means they don't need to download an app. It just uses the browser that they have, whether it is on their um, desktop or on their mobile devices. It is very, very easy. We can also send the signing invitation via, via SMS. So it doesn't have to be an email invite, it can actually be a text message with a link to the signed document as well. So that might make it, depending on your use case, there's certain organizations that need to get the attention of their signers very quickly, and SMS can achieve that over and above. Um, Okay, and I think this is the last one around um, training. What type of training do you offer? Um, so we, the way that we like to work is really understand your objectives as an organization and the use cases that you're looking to uh, improve or um, what, what you're wanting to uh, change in your existing processes. And then we would build an onboarding package that is suitable for your use cases. In some instances, it might be um, quite self-serve through our online resources, whereas in other cases, it would be um, more hand-holding and we would tailor a specific onboarding package for you, depending on the systems that you're using and also whether you would might want a dedicated implementation and account manager going forward. So sort of offer the full range, and we do have a full range of customer base as well, from small organizations right through to enterprise, large inter international organization utilizing our platform. Um, I see one more, um, cool. Um, wanting some more pricing information, and we do integrate with other um, 
systems as well. So integrations are definitely special speciality. <laughs> um, so we've built a number of very good integration over the years and other document management systems as well. So uh, you can find out all the information about our integrations in on our website, integrations, and you can see all the many um, that we've got here. So that is, I think it, and only two minutes over is not bad. If you do have any additional questions, please feel free to um, email or get in touch with our sales team at sales at securedsigning.com. We will then allocate that to the right um, team in the right time zone, depending on where, you, where you're based. And if not, you can also see some more information on our website if you're not quite ready to talk to a salesperson just yet. But yeah, thank you so much for joining this webinar today. I really appreciate your interest and I hope I've left you with some good food for thought around your business processes and how you can make them that little bit smarter um, for yourselves and your teams. So have a lovely afternoon or day, wherever you might be. Take care.